this demonstration will continue uh, to uh, feed the traffic management stuff, but now instead of looking at things on the screen, we will create a, a metric, uh, send it to Prometheus, and create a, a graphic based on that metric in, in Grafana. Um, if you are interested by the demonstration and want to do it for yourself, uh, have a look at my Cloud for Fun project on my GitHub, and uh, uh, the demonstration is actually part of, of the uh, blog slash istio dash telemetry directory. Uh, you can look at here, here and it has uh, different files. So basically, mostly it's one file, uh, the manifest that creates the different resources. But uh, I also have a, a script to uh, create a channel to Grafana. And a script to create a channel to Prometheus. It is, uh, so I've already, uh, so I should be able to connect to Prometheus here and should be able to connect to Grafana. Yeah, so it's working fine. Obviously, I already have, uh, um, already have uh, Istio working and uh, same set of uh, configuration I had in the previous demonstration. So, um, in order to monitor something, we'll have to create something. Uh, so we will uh, create the virtual service that performs a load balancing. Okay, it is now created, and we will run the test script that will show you that uh, we can create a request or a set of requests that will uh, go to uh, version one or version three, depending on the weight we've put for for the virtual resource. And we're good. Um, so what we want to do now is create um, the the metric and, and send it to uh, Prometheus. So in order to do that, uh, uh, the way it works is by creating three uh, different resource, resources. And we'll have a look at them. Right, the first one is what we call an instance. So in an instance is uh, is based on on the template. So uh, in that case, we will create an instance of a metric. So this is something that will be managed by a mixer that will be able to um, send some things uh, to uh, to uh, Envoy to capture those uh, values. And uh, and it it has a set of parameters. So, so the parameters, I, I won't dig too much into that, but I, I just want to uh, to show you how to understand it. So you just go to the documentation, you, you go to the reference part, there is the configuration, and here you have uh, everything that is uh, related to policies and telemetry. Uh, you look at the different templates. Here I'm using a metric template. So there is a description of the metric template here. And as you can see, there is a value for for the um, for the metric. So in that case, every instance will have a value of one, and a dimension, a set of dimensions. So dimension in that case will match. In the case of Prometheus, will match the the labels. So I create four labels, and four dimensions that will become labels, and I I can use um, attributes that are currently being accessible uh, if you are interested by the attributes uh, values that's where you get everything and i can um, manipulate those values so because there is an expression language here again you can get a bunch of things and you have some examples in the default metrics uh, sections so most of the uh, important use case are, are here right but you can you can adapt that to to your needs Okay, so that's for the instance. Uh, once we have uh, the instance, we will create what we call an handler. So the handler will say to Mixer what to do with that instance. So the, in this case, it will send the information to an adapter, which is a Prometheus adapter. And here again, we have some parameters that say uh, the kind of things that are managed and the, the matching that are required. So for instance here, we will, um, we will send um, a name of the metric that will be uh, request underscore request underscore count 
actually will be uh, prefixed by istio underscore uh, but but that will uh, be the name of the uh, of the metric uh, what instance it will manage the type of metric and also the label so it's important that your labels actually match your dimensions you you need all those levels to be defined right and uh, so that mixer knows when to use this angler we will create a rule and the rule will define what kind of action will be triggered so it will uh, send records to Prometheus and for all these sort of instances because there is only one uh, this is a, a table with only one instance uh, type and it will do it when it matches when when the condition is uh, is uh, is true so in that case when the uh, destination service is actually recursed and it will do it on the uh, on the server side right so i can just uh, apply this resource so apply the manifest with those three resources and we're done so uh, now we can access Prometheus and we should be able to see uh, the Istio well, I will query it here it is I just execute it here it is so you see that uh, I can Get that if I want to have say um, a rate on five minutes, I will just do that. There it is. So, and you see, it almost matches my weight that are 80 20 right on five minutes on the last five minutes i can obviously create a graph so say on five minutes right and you see it's actually converging to to my values okay so now let's go to grafana I we will um copy this and to create a dashboard on grafana we just create a dashboard choose the visualization a graph uh, here what we'll do we'll um, go back to there we'll define that we want to rely on Prometheus and we'll define our value and that's it I think that should work okay uh, we'll, um, we'll restrain that to the last five minutes and we will um, refresh it every five six seconds we should be good right uh, and here you, you have all the all what you want to do with Prometheus so, so for instance if uh, I want to create a table uh, for the legend okay I put it to the right you see that uh, it doesn't really match my my needs I'll, I'd prefer to have the just the, uh, the destination name in that case so I just um, go back to the settings, create a variable that will be named destination uh, and Prometheus, and I will query those variables as part of the uh, metric. So I query all the values that are existing as part of the metrics. Uh, I can sort it this way and I save it. Um, right. If I go back there, I should be able to uh, use the um, destination. As a legend, here it is right. I can create some alerting or whatever. 